Hello folks, this is uh, 2021 May June paper 13 and the question number is 13. So 13 and 13 are very uh, uh, sheer coincidence it is. It has got to uh, a question from the chapter of forces. Uh, it is actually, it is about uh, torque or moment we'd say. It says four coplanar forces. It means all the forces are on this plane surface. It's like this. It's like this. It is like this or it is like this. It is not like this. It means it is not like this. It is not coming like this. So all the forces are on this plane surface. Okay, I can see an insect there. It is a baby cockroach. So it will be, it will be, yeah, yeah, long living there because it will be on YouTube now. See, see, you can see there, you can see there. Lots of cockroaches in this season. Uh, though we use, uh, we, we, we use insecticides, it is of no use. They, they, they increase within uh, one week. <clears throat> so we don't use much because it might cause uh, uh, bad effects to uh, us as well, humans as well. So four coplanar forces act on a rigid body. Rigid rod means that its shape does not change. It might break, but it doesn't change its shape. Uh, the rod is hinged at P, so P is a fixed point here. So that means it can rotate like this. It can move, rotate like this. Which force produces the greatest moment about point P? So we have to produce the moment. We have to calculate the moment. So let's do. Let's go for this uh, choice A, uh, 10, uh, 1.0. So tau at tau due to A should be equal to this uh, 10 into 1.0. Uh, and here we have got a sine 90 here. Sine 90 is 1 perpendicular. So this is 1 Newton meter. Sorry, this is 10. Actually, it is 10 Newton meter. I made a mistake. Uh, then I have to go for tau B here. Tau B is equal to the force is uh, 6. 6 into R. R is the distance of the application of the force. Distance of the point of application of force from the fulcrum from the fulcrum so it is from here to here it is one one it is two into sine of the angle between angle between line of action of force and this r and this r so this angle is 30 degree so it should be equal to 6 to the 12 sin 30 0 0.5 12 into 0 0.5 is 6 newton meter then comes a tau c tau c is equal to is equal to the force is 2 into the distance is 1 plus 1 is 3 3 and this angle is 90 so it's equal to simply 6 newton meter and since we are not concerned with with the uh, with the sense of moment whether it is clockwise or anti-clockwise so we are not considering that so tau d is equal to the force the value of force is 4 4 into r is equal to r is the distance of point of application of force from the fulcrum so it is if i go through this one meter four times it is four into sine of again sine of the angle between the direction of force line of force and direction of this r it is again 30 sine of 30 so it is 4 4 16 16 into 0 0.5 is equal to 8 newton meters so by going through all the choices, uh, this uh, is the correct choice. So choice number A should be the correct choice for this greatest moment. The figure looks uh, complex. It seems as if uh, I, when I saw this question for the first time, I remembered uh, like they show in movies, uh, a person has his uh, uh, feet on the, uh, on the plaster, feet on the plaster and it is being suspended like this or like that or like this like that so i remember this thing so maybe um, not maybe uh, this calculation is useful in such cases as well which you will know in future if you go into these fields these fields also